Hey, this is Lewis from Breakdance, and in this video, I want to give you a quick overview of the pop-up functionality in Breakdance. So to do that, I'm going to teach you how to build this pop-up. It's a two-column pop-up, it's responsive, and it has an email capture form inside it. Okay, let's go into Breakdance and get started. So from the WordPress admin panel, to add a pop-up in Breakdance, you'll go to Breakdance, and then click Pop-ups. Once you're here, you'll click Add Pop-up, and then you'll enter in a name for your pop-up. I'm gonna choose email subscribe. Then you'll choose the location for your pop-up. Location is where on your website you want the pop-up to appear. You could choose everywhere. You could choose only certain posts, only certain pages, only certain products, wherever you want. I'm going to choose pages, and then I'm gonna narrow it down further with conditions. So I'll click add condition, choose condition, page is homepage. And now I have a pop-up that will only display on my homepage. I can stack conditions too. I could add another condition. So I could say page is homepage uh, or page is some other page. Or I could combine the conditions. I could do and. I could do page is homepage and user logged in status is logged out. This would only show the pop-up to logged out users on the homepage. But I'm logged in and I want to see the pop-up for testing purposes. So I'm going to get rid of the logged out condition and just display this pop-up on single pages where page is homepage. Now let's set up a trigger. A trigger is what actually opens your pop-up. So I'll click add trigger and we have a number of triggers to choose from on page load, page scroll, page scroll up, user inactivity, mouse moves to exit or click. I'm going to choose page scroll and then scrolls to percent and I'm going to set the percent to 20%. So when the user scrolls 20% down the page, it will open the pop-up. I'm then going to limit how often this pop-up shows because I don't want to annoy the user. So I'm going to set per page load um, only one time. Okay, let's go ahead and add this pop-up. Now let's edit the pop-up in Breakdance. So I'll click edit in Breakdance. And I want to show the demo pop-up one more time so we remember what we're building. It's going to be a two-column pop-up, image on the right, form on the left. Okay, let's build it. So in Breakdance, I'm going to click Add, and I'm going to add a columns element. I'm going to choose two columns, and you'll notice Breakdance automatically places this inside a pop-up because it knows we are editing a pop-up. Now in the right column, I'm going to put in an image, and in the left column, I'm going to put in a form builder. Now let's click the image, and I'm going to choose an image I already uploaded. There we go. And for the form, let's now customize the form. It's an email subscribe form, so we don't need name or message. So just click the form, go to form fields, and here we can customize the fields. I'm going to delete name, and I'm going to delete message. I also want to have a placeholder in the email field. So I'm going to open the email field. I will go to advanced, and under placeholder, I will type in your email address. Now we have a placeholder in the email field. I want the submit button to say, um, subscribe now. So I'll set that as the submit text. Now let's customize the design of the form. So to do that, we'll go to the design tab. Now for the form, I'm going to set the fields, advanced, hide labels option. That's going to hide the email label because we already have the placeholder. That makes the form look cleaner. I want to make the subscribe button a little bit bigger. And uh, as long as we're making it big, let's also make it black. So now we got a black subscribe button, uh, full width, and under style size, I'm going to choose uh, large. And there we go. We now have a form with a subscribe button. Let's go ahead and add in our heading. So I'm going to add a heading above that form, and I'm going to add in some text. And let's set the heading to uh, get business tips and uh, receive knowledge in your inbox. Okay, now let's go to the column and under layout, we're going to center everything both horizontally and vertically. And now let's space things out nicely. So I'm gonna click the get business tips heading, mouse over the edge of it, and then click and drag to add some space below it. I'm gonna do the same thing for the text element, add some space below it. Okay, that looks pretty good, but let's make it look exactly like our design that I originally showed you. So to do that, we're gonna take the space off the pop-up. So we're gonna to go to the pop-up. We can get there by clicking anywhere on the gray area or just going to the structure panel and clicking pop-up. Once we have the pop-up chosen, we're gonna to go to the design options and under pop-up, 
under padding, I'm going to set the padding to zero. Now the pop-up has no padding, but it means the forms right up against the edge of the column. We don't like that. So what I'm going to do is click on the column and uh, under spacing, I will set the padding on the column to 30 pixels apply to all sides. And uh, that means there's too much gap on the right because there is gap between the columns right there. So let's remove that. So we'll go to the columns. We can do that by just clicking up on a column or we could go to the structure panel and activate the columns. Once we've done that, we'll go to spacing and I'm going to set the column gap to zero. There we go. We've now created our pop-up design. It looks great. Let's make this image a little bit narrower. So I'm going to go to the column and just drag it a little bit smaller. That's pretty good. 60, 40 looks nice. Okay. Now let's make sure this looks good on mobile devices. So I'm going to go to the mobile device preview and I'll choose tablet landscape. The columns are already stacking vertically. I don't think we need to stack vertically on tablet landscape though. It still look good horizontal. It probably even look good horizontal on tablet portrait, maybe only on phone landscape. Do we really need to stack vertically? So let's go to the columns element, go to, um, go up to the columns. You can again get there in the structure panel by just clicking columns and under layout, we're going to choose stack vertically at phone landscape. Now it'll still be horizontal up until we get to phone landscape. Now on phone landscape, it's good that it stacks vertically, but this image is way too tall. So let's customize the image styles on phone landscape and below to do that with the phone landscape breakpoint active. We're going to click on the image. We'll go to design and under image, I'm going to give this image a height of let's say 250 pixels and that's a better height, but I want it to be full width. So I'll set the width to percent and then 100%. This causes the image to distort though. So I'm going to choose object fit cover. And this is going to make the image without distorting cover the entire area. Okay. That looks great. Let's check phone portrait just to make sure it's still nice. And it is, and we now have a nice pop-up on all devices. Okay. Now let's set up an animation. So it looks nice when it first appears on the screen to do that. I'm going to go to the pop-up just by clicking anywhere on this overlay and under the design options for the pop-up, I'm going to choose animation and on entrance, I'm going to choose animation type. Uh, let's do slide down. That looks pretty good. I could customize the duration, delay, and easing if I want, but I don't need. There are a number of built-in animations. You could do slide left, slide right, whatever you want. Zoom in. I like zoom in. Zoom in's pretty nice. So let's do zoom in. And on exit, we could do, we could fade, we could fade out. Okay. That looks pretty good. We now have our pop-up animation set up. Lastly, Let's make the pop-up automatically close after the form is submitted. So let's click the form builder and let's go to actions and I'm going to clear out the existing actions and I'm going to choose actions after submit pop-up. And then for pop-up, I'm going to choose on success, add a pop-up, email, subscribe, pop-up, close on error. We won't close the pop-up. And if I wanted to actually add this user to e my email list, if this wasn't a demo video, I would also choose you know, the MailChimp, the MailerLite, email, get response, drip, convert kit. We have integrations for all the popular providers. So you'd probably just want to check MailChimp and then enter in your MailChimp API key to subscribe the user to your MailChimp list. I don't need to do that for this video. So I'm going to clear out the MailChimp action and just choose this pop-up close on success. Okay. Let's save this and go over to the front end of our website and test it out. So we load our page, no pop-up. Let's scroll down the page. The pop-up appears. I will subscribe to the email list, subscribe now, and the pop-up closes. That is how to use pop-ups in Breakdance. This is Lewis for Breakdance. Thank you very much for watching.